darkest days. And then sit, sit effortlessly tall. So just sense the spine like a willow tree lifting up out of, the, out of its root, very gracefully blossoming up to sky. And, but do ground your sitting bones. And then let's sip the breath in through the nostrils. And as you do so, sense the nostrils flaring open to receive the breath. Sense that breath moving up from your root all the way up to the crown. And once it's there, take a little pause and feel whatever you feel, maybe sensations of length and width and lightness, feeling very full. And then with the exhale, let the breath flood down the spine. Soften all the muscles as you do so. And once that breath has left from the root again, allow the sit bones to get a little bit more grounded. And then we begin again. So sense the breath now as a wave. As you inhale, breath will come up into belly, into solar plexus and heart, into the throat center. There you might assign it a color, a sky blue color. Feel that sky blue inflate the front of the throat and up to crown and then pause again. And then release and those sensations of softening, feeling perhaps both heavy and soft at the same time. And sense that final bit of exhalation as a wave that has now crashed onto the sandy shore. And then we'll pull the breath in again. And the breath now again moves into the heart of the ocean, saturates the heart, move it up into throat center and into crown. Envision it sitting at the top of the crown, shining up to receive the light of the sun. And then release that breath again. And here you might also layer in the ujjayi sound, that's the ocean sound. So again, as you breathe in and the breath is at the throat center, you might hear a, and feel a cooling sensation and almost the whisper of the wind. And then as you exhale, sense that breath at the back of the throat. And it is a more guttural sound. It sounds a little bit more like the roar of the ocean. And let it flood down and out. And then let's continue that breathing pattern without the sound of my voice. Use your own internal rhythm now to pull that breath up and let it flood out. And then the next time you've exhaled, let's take some shoulder rolls. With the inhale, roll the shoulders forward and up. With the exhale, roll them back and down. Keep going with this. The movement always rides on your breath. That means there's never movement without the breath taking you there. So, uh, and also notice this is four distinct movements. As you roll the shoulders forward, protraction, feel the stretch across your upper back, elevation, shoulders up to ears, 
retraction, squeeze between the shoulder blades and then exhale and release, keep going. And now reverse that. So squeeze between shoulder blades first, elevate, roll it forward and release. Squeeze between blades, elevate, roll forward, release. Again, squeeze, elevate, roll it forward, release it again. And one more time. And then just elevate, lift shoulders up to the ears, hold that, breathe up into your heart center, hold the breath. When we exhale, do it with a sigh or a ha sound, create a lot of space between your shoulders and your ears. Let's take that again, inhale, lift. and surrender with a ha sound. One more time, inhale and lift and pause here. Feel the breath expanding in heart center. Create a whole halo of space around you as you exhale. Let's take the left ear to the left shoulder. You're staying very grounded on both sitting bones. So you're not leaning to the left side. Your collarbones are wide open. So you're not rounding the shoulders. Sense the breath, the inhale going into the right side of your neck, almost as if you were a fish and the gills were opening to capture the breath. And then on the exhale, see if you can soften your left ear a bit more. This may be just sensation or it could be a small little movement. Take three breaths. We're gonna to come to the other side. With the exhale, drop the chin down towards your throat. Tilt over to your right side. Allow the ear to float up and then let the ear settle towards the right shoulder. Stay balanced through the sitting bones, wide through the collarbones. Take the breath into the left side of the neck. And when you exhale, see if you can soften the right ear without leaning, take three breaths. We're going to make a semicircle with the, uh, with the neck now, with the chin, with the ear, with the exhale, drop the chin down towards throat, tilt to your left side, inhale, as the ear and chin float up, take it as high as you can go. Exhale, drop the chin, tilt over to your right. Inhale, float up, ear and chin. And then let's continue that. The movement rides on your breath. Sense that inhale, carrying the ear and chin high up there. And then on the exhale, the chin tucks down towards the chest again. Should be gentle, very fluid, no head whipping. And then the next time the chin is tucked towards the chest, you'll keep it there, keeping some space tucked between the chin and chest. That's about the size of a large orange. Squeeze on that orange, continue to do so and bring the back of the skull, upper back of the skull into the space behind it. This could be sensation or it could be a small movement. The idea is to 
draw the center of the forehead backwards just a bit to try to create some extra space and opening between the upper cervical vertebra. And breathe into heart and slowly roll up, stacking your long, tall spine. Okay, I'm gonna invite you now to take your comfortable place to be for the next uh, 40 minutes or so. You could be lying down, you could still remain seated. You could even stand, perhaps uh, walk around the room if that is what your body is asking for today. If you're lying down, you might choose to have a pillow underneath your head, perhaps one underneath your knees. And, um, uh, and even if you are sitting, again, perhaps a pillow underneath the knees and behind your lower back. You might turn your feet inward a bit, slightly pigeon toe. This helps to relax deep in the, in the hips. At this time, nothing else matters. Right now, there is nothing to do, nowhere to go, just simply be. This time is for you and you alone. Become comfortable and relaxed. You are here to simply let go and listen. It is not necessary to concentrate. Just keep your mind moving from point to point and be aware of every experience. This will allow for the natural flow of awareness, which takes the mind deeper into the self. Do not worry or become agitated if you do not hear everything that I say. It is natural to flow in and out of conscious hearing. In this practice, very often, the unconscious mind withdraws itself so that the subconscious mind comes to the forefront. And then whatever is being spoken is imprinted on it. Whatever your experience is today, this practice of yoga nidra, yogic sleep, will still work. Even if you feel like you have fallen asleep, there is no way to do this wrong. Notice the sounds around you. Hear the most distant sound you are aware of. And now focus on a sound that is closer. And now hear the sound that is closest to you. Perhaps even in your own body. Focus on the sounds inside your body. Listen for your own heartbeat. Allow your bones to be heavy. Feel your bones heavy and sinking into the earth. Release bones heavy and sinking. Surrender the flesh heavy and sinking sinking, melting into the earth, heavy and sinking. Feel the pull of gravity 
as your body grows heavy and descends downward. Feel your breath, feel it become light and float through your body. Feel your breath. Let your thoughts grow dense and sink into the back of your head, back of your body. Feelings and emotions grow heavy as though they were a substance and flow away from your body, leaving you clear and refreshed. Personality and roles you play also now grow heavy and turn into liquid and flow into the ground. And now you are in your essence, pure and empty and more free. Feel bliss filling your body as though your body were hollow, empty, and joy and bliss fills you like an essence, a fragrance. <clears throat> Feel yourself as bliss. Imagine yourself now in a place that feels peaceful and calming, peaceful and sweet. This could be somewhere that you know, or it could be in an imaginary place. You may be outside in nature, in a place you like, such as the beach or the woods or the mountains, or it could be indoors on your bed, in a chair, or in a room that is comforting to you. Feel yourself here and begin to see all the surroundings, the colors, the light, the objects, the plants and animals, if there are any. special objects, if there are any. See yourself here in this soothing, peaceful place. Feel the energy here calming and soothing. This is your inner sanctuary, your soothing, peaceful place that is always here for you. At any time during practice, you can guide yourself back here. If anything feels intense, odd, or uncomfortable in any way, guide yourself back here to your inner sanctuary. You can come back to this place any time you would like to. All you have to do is remember, and you will be here. Your inner sanctuary is always here and part of who you are. Come back whenever you wish to. It is part of the practice. Everything is a pointer to your authentic ground of being or presence, which is always awake and knows the perfect response to every situation. And for this reason, we affirm the following resolve as we enter into the practice of yoga nidra. 
I am awake and I am aware and I welcome every perception as a messenger that is guiding me home to my authentic ground of being. And now breathe deep into your heart to discover your heart's deepest longing. And choose now your own sankalpa. A sankalpa is an affirmation or a resolve that is short, positive, and clear so that it will penetrate the subconscious mind. The sankalpa takes the form of a short mental statement which is impressed on the subconscious mind when it is receptive and sensitive to auto-suggestion during yoga nidra. The sankalpa is made not when the mind is intellectually active, but when it is calm and quiet. The resolve you make at the beginning of the practice is like sowing a seed and the resolve at the end is like irrigating it. Once the seed of San Kalpa is planted deep in the subconscious, it gathers the vast forces of the mind to bring about its fruition. This deep and powerful seed will eventually manifest itself again and again at a conscious level and bring about powerful changes in your life. Choose just one sankalpa now according to your needs and your inclinations at this moment. And state it clearly three times to yourself, making it a positive statement as though it is already happening. For example, it could be, I am well, or I am content, or I am a positive force for the evolution of others. Find yours. The result depends on your sincerity and your deep felt need to attain the goal of your resolve. The body is a perception, and we experience it not through thinking, but through sensing. Experience the body now as pure sensation, and let your consciousness move through your body as you are being guided. Feel each body part, and then move on to the next when prompted. I will be going rather quickly through the body, so as to not linger or think, do not worry if you do not feel every body part. Feel sensation in your mouth. Without moving, feel the roof of your mouth underneath the tongue. Teeth gums, top of tongue, root of the tongue, inside the wall of the right cheek, inside the wall of the left cheek. Sense taste in the mouth. Feel all parts of the mouth as a whole, the entire mouth as radiant energy that is expanding in all directions simultaneously. Now draw a line of tactile sensation to the nose. Feel the nose, feel the length of the nose, the tip, nostrils, 
right nostril, left nostril, both nostrils. Feel breath passing through the nostrils and sense smell. Feel the nose as energy, as prana, as vibration. Feel the nose. And now draw a line of tactile sensation to the ears. Sense the architecture of the ears. Feel the ears. Feel the wrinkles and folds of the ears and the back of the ears. Ear lobes, ear canal, inner ears. Feel the ears hearing, listening, receiving sound. Feel the ears as glowing orbs of sensation and vibration. Now feel the eyes, feel the shade like eyelids covering the eyes and soothing darkness. The hollow concave sockets that hold and caress the eyeballs. The eyelids, eyelashes, surface of the eyes and behind the eyes. Feel your eyes as radiant orbs of energy, color, and sensation. Trace the eyes now into the center of the head and soften inside the head and relinquish thinking. Sense an orb of pure sensation in the center of the head radiating everywhere simultaneously. And feel the radiant sensation behind the forehead and into center of head and underneath the crown of the head. A line of sensation from crown radiating downward inside at the back of head and from back of head into the center, from the center into the forehead. Mouth ears, eyes, nose, forehead, crown, coalescing all of these sensations into one radiating, vibrating orb of energy, moving everywhere simultaneously. Follow this flow of sensation from the crown and into the neck and into the throat and feel where the neck and the throat join the shoulders. Feel the tactile sensations that are the shoulders. Become aware of the left shoulder, left upper arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, left palm, left thumb, first finger, second, third, fourth, all the fingers, the whole left hand with fingers, and let the mind dissolve. Just the pure sensation of energy vibrating. Become aware of your crown, throat, right palm, right thumb, first finger, second, third, and fourth, all the fingers, the whole right hand with fingers, right wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, and shoulder, feel your throat, center, heart, center, solar plexus, navel. And now feel the left hip, thigh, knee, left lower leg, 
ankle, top of foot, sole, big left toe, second, third, fourth, and fifth toes. Feel the entire left side of the body. And feel again your navel. And now feel the right hip, thigh, knee, and the right lower leg, ankle, top of foot, sole, big right toe, second, third, fourth, and the fifth toes. And now feel the entire right side of the body. Right side. Feel your root center between the sitting bones, navel, solar plexus, heart center, throat center, mouth, between the eyebrows and the crown. You feel the left side of the body, the entire left side. And now feel the midline. Go to the midline where the right and the left join. And now become aware of the whole body and the space occupied by the body. Experience the entire body merging into a global body sensation. Aware of sensation behind the body, to the left, out in front, to the right, above and below. Explore inwardness and see if you can find a center, a midline, a core. Explore outwardly for a periphery or a boundary. Or is this sensation everywhere simultaneously? Coalescing sensation, caressing the body from all directions simultaneously. And now soften the gaze behind your closed eyes. Allow this softening of your eyes to signal your mind and body that you are moving from an outer directed to an inner directed awareness. This inner directed awareness is one of the keys to emotional balance and you can practice this in your daily life. It is possible to close your eyes and still maintain tension or activity in your eyeballs. Allow your eyeballs to relax and visualize them turning inward, dropping gently toward your heart. In this way, your outer sight, the awareness that focuses on things outside of you becomes inner sight or insight. Let your ears also draw inward, coming to join your eyes at the very center of your body. In this way, your outer hearing, the things that you listen to outside of you, becomes a deep internal listening. And with this transition, you begin to build a connection to your inner voice, 
your wisdom and knowledge. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose. And when you are ready, start counting the length of your breath. Let each count be about a second. You do not need to be accurate. Just get a good approximation that you can use consistently to measure the length of your breath. Let your breath be natural and not forced. As you breathe, imagine that you are directing your breath upward to the level of your eyes. Inhale and feel your ribs expanding on the front of your body. and exhale fully. And do this several times. And then inhale again and feel your side and back ribs fill and expand, almost as though they are smiling. Allow your abdomen to relax. As you focus on your breath, release any judgmental thoughts or worries that you are not doing it right. Instead, observe your breath calmly and without judgment. If you are able to begin to lengthen both your inhale and your exhale, see whether you can increase them by just one count. And if this feels uncomfortable, return to a count that feels more natural to you. And be as compassionate as you can about the length and quality of your breath. And now notice and feel any difference that may be present for you right now. Do you feel calmer? Have your thoughts evened out or slowed down a little? Or are they more balanced now between fast and slow? As you connect more with your body and breath, you will be able to feel more clearly the difference between physical tension and relaxation. You will learn where your body stores tension. Then you can use your breath and awareness to release that tension whenever you wish. We are going to become aware now of sensations and feelings, the duality of sensations and feelings. As we awaken the sensations of heaviness and lightness and heat and cold and pain and pleasure, we stimulate those centers of the brain responsible for maintaining harmony 
between our inner and outer environments. The pairing and alternation of these sensations in yoga nidra helps to maintain homeostatic balance and even evolves it by bringing normally involuntary unconscious functions under control. Feel yourself open to all sensory perceptions, to the outer sounds and the inner sounds, the thoughts and flows of energy moving through the mind and through the body. Let my words become your words as we continue this meditative journey. If at any time the process becomes uncomfortable, you may always tune out my voice and return to the safety of your heart or your inner sanctuary. As emotions and feelings come and go, I invite you to experience timeless presence where everything arises and everything dissolves. Be aware of the feeling of heaviness in the body, the weight of arms and legs, the head, the torso. Can you give up the body completely to the surface of the earth? Bones heavy, head heavy, torso heavy, earthy. And now find an opposite feeling in the body. The feeling of lightness, a sensation of lightness weightlessness in all parts of the body. Body floating, drifting, the top of the skin light where it touches the air. And feel again, heaviness. And then return to lightness going back and forth between these opposites of feeling. Heavy, then light. And can you feel these sensations simultaneously and how it impacts your body and affects your mind? The mind can't really do this. It may struggle back and forth, but there may come a moment where we may let go of the mind to feel these opposites simultaneously. And now bring up sensations of warmth or heat. The whole body is searing, melting hot, panting, sweating. Locate their opposites, sensations of coolness, cold, just the pure sensation. Imagine a cool breeze filtering across your whole body on a hot summer day. And go back to the heat of the sun and continue back and forth. and bring them together. And now can you feel sensations of calmness, peacefulness in your body? And now they're opposites. Agitation, maybe anger. Where do you feel this in your body? back and forth between these two opposites of emotion. And at some point, bring them together and see how it acts on the body and the mind. And now awaken the feelings of safety and security and then their opposites the feeling of being afraid or abandoned or ungrounded, moving back and forth, and then bringing them together 
feeling them simultaneously. Now find your own, something that perhaps you are working with in your own life and bring them together and notice the impact. And now I'm going to suggest images and let them float freely through your mind and see how it acts on your body. Sun rising in morning sky. Waves rolling across an infinite calm ocean. Storm clouds gathering. Torrential rain. A storm raging at sea. People angry, fighting with one another. Storm abating, calming down. Waves breaking on a beach. A warm, sunny day, a sandy beach, relaxed and walking along the beach, a meadow, flowers, streams, a dark cave leading into the ground where you can feel the moisture of the walls, the floor, and the ceiling a light ahead, a candle burning brightly, a path leading up a mountain where there is a circle of trusted friends and a vast, open, spacious sky. Withdraw your mind now and concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyes. Imagine before you a transparent screen through which you can see infinite space, a space that extends as far as the eyes can see. Concentrate on this dark space and become aware of any phenomena that manifests within it. Whatever you see is the manifesting state of your mind. Continue your awareness of this space, but do not become involved. Practice detached awareness. And now imagine yourself in a park in the early morning. The sun has not yet risen and the park is deserted, except for yourself. It is a beautiful park, calm and peaceful. You walk across the springy grass Listen to the birds whistle and call as they welcome in the new day. There are gardens of flowers, roses, yellow, pink, red, purple. You smell their fragrance and see their early morning dewdrops on their petals. Nearby the rose garden is a fish pond and goldfish swim in and out amongst the water lilies 
you see their graceful movements. You walk between trees, beautiful trees, elegant bare trees with arms outstretched towards the sky, spreading fingers as if beckoning the clouds to gather around. and trees with leaves, wide-spreading canopies, shading and sheltering all that seek protection, and tall stately trees, magnificent in their grandeur. There is a clearing between the trees. In the clearing, is a small temple with an aura of light around it. You go to the door. It is cool and dim inside. Inside on the walls, there are pictures of great saints and angels and deities. The pictures strike a chord that resonates deep within you. There is a sense of timelessness. You recognize the presence of ancestral memories. You have been here before. You sit on the floor, close your eyes and become still. A sense of deep peace and harmony envelops you as the sounds around outside fade into the distance. You continue your meditative awareness inside the temple. Peace and harmony pervading through you. You bring your awareness to the dark space you see in front of your closed eyes. You watch the darkness that you see before you very carefully with a sense of detachment. You rest your mind in this warm and friendly darkness. Subtle colors and patterns emerge. You sense your body suddenly immersed in color as if it is passing through a rainbow. Feel yourself washed and purified by these subtle colors, yellow, green, blue, violet, red, orange, golden, yellow. Feel the colors penetrating your whole body, nourishing and invigorating you at a deep, deep level. And now there is a floating sensation. Your body is lifted by currents of air. You're floating like a cloud, still immersed in color and radiance. The clouds have made a soft bed that surrounds you and comforts you. Wisps of cloud brush past your face in caressing gestures. The cloud carries you back outside of the temple and carefully lays you down in the richly hued grasses in the park. Above you, the brilliance of the sun makes dancing patterns of light around you. The subtle colors that have penetrated your body now merge with the patterns of light outside of you. You remember the awareness that you had inside the temple. You realize that you have it now, that this awareness, this memory has always been with you. You feel deeply connected.
And now it is time to return. Take back with you the knowledge of your inner self. See it as a vision that has always been with you. Here with you. And now you can see it clearly. Sense your inner self as infinite light and joy that you bring with you as you merge back into the world. <clears throat> and in this place of peace and abundance, remember your heart's resolve, your sand kalpa. Know that within this journey, your affirmation has already become a reality. This seed has been planted for the universe to cultivate. Sense that this mind and body are the bridge for self-knowledge. Know that as you come back to your everyday thoughts and feelings, you will continue to be present with your inner self. Sense the breath moving more fully now. Feel your body, all points of contact with the earth. And with the next breath becoming twice as awake, twice as present. <clears throat> Gently rock the head from side to side in a slow awakening. If you are lying on the floor, you might bring the knees in now and gently rock them from side to side. <clears throat> Rocking over to one side in fetal position. <clears throat> And then pressing your palm into earth to bring yourself fluidly back up to your comfortable seated position. And when you have arrived, keep the eyes closed for another minute or that very soft, unfocused gaze. And then bring the hands together. Thumbs go at the heart center. And with the thumbs, softly make a circle around the skin surrounding your heart. And you might breathe in the sankalpa, your sankalpa, one more time, or perhaps another healing thought. And then as we close, thanking body, mind, and spirit, bowing gently. And we say, namaste. So have a wonderful uh, day, summer. Some of you uh, I will probably see uh, virtually. I'll be returning to teach my Wednesday yoga class, 5 p.m. And my Pilates will be on Sunday at 9.30 um, during this first stage of re reopening the JCC. I will be um, doing my class from the JCC with uh, no, no participants. So tune in to your links. So goodbye, everybody. If anybody cares to unmute themselves and say something or ask a question, uh, go right ahead. Thank you, Allison. Wonderful class, and wonderful yoga nidra today. It's Joyce. Thank you. Hi, Joyce. Good to Hi. see you. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you. OK, take care, everybody. Bye now. Bye. was very nice, nice.
Thank you, Esther. I look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, yeah, I will take the classes. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye.